On the sunny side of a spacesuit, temperatures can reach 290 degrees. On the shaded side, it could be 200 below. NASA discovered that they could keep their astronauts comfortable and their delicate equipment functioning with just a thin reflective layer. Just like the spacesuit, Radioflect in your attic stops 97% of radiant heat transfer. Conventional insulation is designed to reduce conduction and convection, but does little to stop radiant transfer, the main source of energy loss, but Radioflect does. Now here's a demonstration. I'm gonna pour two cups of coffee from this steaming hot pot. And then I'm going to put covers on both and place a probe in each. Set this one in a jacket, this one in fiberglass. And then we'll watch and wait and see what happens, and I'll be back in just a little while. Okay, after about 45 minutes, the Radioflect coffee lost about 20 degrees. The coffee in the fiberglass lost about 40 degrees, nearly a 20 degree difference. That much heat loss over a few winters could cost you a lot. Now let's talk about summer. Let's say this is your attic on a summer day. Let's see which insulation does a better job of keeping heat out. We put six inches of fiberglass in this side, and we're about to put Radioflect reflecting insulation right here. And there we go. Now let's add some summer heat. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, let's see how we did. With six inches of bat insulation, the temperature has risen to 118 degrees. The Radioflex side is still just 69 degrees. Think how hard your air conditioner would have to work to make up that difference. 